hello and welcome back to a new episode and yes yes it is another day and therefore we have not completed the gorilla challenge the eight ball whoops wow <gasps> oh my goodness she's ah uh, look they're literally ah uh, how cool oh we missed it okay well that was pretty cool she was uh, grooming grooming him i'm not sure if they've had any <gasps> simba simba has offspring Simba's pregnant. She has offspring due for... Oops, I clicked on her instead. Hang on, Simba. Offspring due August. Year one, two. Oh my gosh, it's really soon. I literally... I didn't even know. I didn't get the notification. Kiwi just died. I didn't even know she was pregnant. Oh my gosh, we would have actually done our... Completed our challenge then with one baby. That's kind of funny. Oh, and Kiwi. Kiwi, no. I'm so sorry. Kiwi, you will be missed. Let's name a Kiwi the second. Let's see. Grape is here. Lily, zucchini. This is going to be Kiwi the second. Kiwi the second. And we haven't starred Grape either. There we go. There's only one. Is there only one female in here now? There's only one female and she's old. Oh, there's two females. There's zucchini as well. I'm sure that's fine then. Okay, oh no, all the animals are dying. Animal died, Aircon died. Aircon the peafowl, wow. 42 years old. Boy. And then, what's this? Trying to hide social stress. That's because she is right in front of some of the lovely guests here. Having a look. All right, that's fine. I'm sure she'll calm down soon and fennel has just had offspring fennel is our nyala so that is very very good and a nyala matured so we will pop her in in the trade center all right heading back over to our amazing here they are here she is okay it's it's april now <gasps> she's gonna she's gonna play with the ball oh look how cool she is i could just watch these guys all day all day She's so interesting. I'm so sad she had that fight and she's got all her scars on her. Simba. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, the sun is in her face now. Yes. Loads of photos of Simba. Okay. So August. Okay, we've got to have a lookout um, for when she gives the birth. So we've got to see our first baby gorilla. Let me check the challenge. Community challenge, yes. So zero minutes left. 100% completed the target, but we didn't do anything, which is very funny. But I'm glad we were able to complete it. And we have some new rewards. This is, might be in form before and it's just loaded in now, but we have a spotted hyena, an American bison, and 250 credits. Oh, it's because I tried to scroll down. I think it's probably from last time, yes. <gasps> No! Oh, Onyx is finally leaving us. Onyx. Oh, Onyx. I'm so sorry, my my buddy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Wow. The, the red, the red uh, ruffed are way bigger. Way, way bigger. And we have baby red ruffed everywhere. Oh, my goodness. We have, oh, we have a little baby red ruffed lemurs. Look at its little face. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. Oh, it's, it's a growing, growing population here. There's so many. So... Onyx, wait, is it this Onyx? No, okay, there's a, there's a, there's a red rough lemur called Onyx as well. Okay, but that is confusing. So what is this? Infertile, infertile. So Onyx is amazing and his two females are infertile. So for one, we need to get Onyx a new female and we're definitely gonna have to get him one which is not in his gene pool because he's the only mum we've ever had. So let's buy him a female. Why are they all conservation? Can we get cash? No. Okay, I see. We have little conservation. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Who do we have? Um, she's pretty healthy. Fertility 33, though. Uh, fertility 50. She seems pretty good. And then this one. I'm going to buy... We could buy two, I guess. I'm going to get these two lovely ladies. Red, rough lemur, 
Okay, wow, I do think I'm wide. I just saw I needed to buy some. We'll have to see, but let's put her in. She's really, really healthy. So let's hope to have some really good babies. And then let's see, where's Onyx gone? There he is. Let's see, compare mates. Breeding. Okay, so he can actually breed with a lot of... Tamarind is infertile as well, and Ando is the new one. Okay, so he could actually... We'll put um, this one back in as well. She's golden, pretty healthy, her. So now he has two females, um, which are really, really healthy. And I'm pretty sure that they're fine with just two females in here and two more. Let me see, social group. Yeah, see, there's so many. That's fine. Okay, now let's have a peek at the ring-tailed. So we have three females who are infertile, sadly, and no males and no females. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see. Um, Ring-tailed lemur. All right, so let's bring this lovely lady and one of the boys. Let's compare. One of the golden boys, Mojito. Okay, they're both her babies. Oh my goodness. Inbreeding. I think it's his sister. That's his sister. Okay, so, fine. We'll bring one of the, the golden males. Um, let's bring Mojito. Cool name. I must have named him that. And then we'll buy a, a female ring-tailed. Or a few females. Here we go. Here's just a, a cash-listed female. There we go. And that will get the populations going a bit different, hopefully. And they'll come in, I'm sure, soon. Let's see. Yep, she's already in here. I'm going to call her Heinz, like Heinz Babies. <laughs> because her name kind of looked like that. So it reminded me of it. So Heinz is in. And Ando. And she's going to be called, let's see, Aldi. She's going to be called Aldi. So she's looking pretty cool as well. Amazing. And then we need the new ring tailed. Coming in, uh, let's see, not yet. We'll have to wait until they pop in and name them. Oh, so much to do today. Here we go. Okay, here's one. Here's Mojito. Let's just star him. He's the main male now. Oops, I, I did a little eight instead. Okay, and then, whoops, she, they're running off. They're running off. Uh-oh, I can't grab her now. She's in the bush. Okay. There we go. And this is our female. And she's going to be called um, Little. <laughs> Albion Little we have in here now. That's fun. Okay. And she doesn't have um, a golden. She doesn't have a stat. But that's fine. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. Sage. Oh, Lily, the Chinese pangolin died. I'm pretty sure she was the one which didn't have. She was infertile, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty sad. And Kiwi the second also grew up. So we'll pop him in. Oh my gosh. We're doing like a whole day of just helping everybody out here okay uh and nyala died time died and then we have lots of greater flamingos maturing which i'm not sure is the best we have a bongo that will fight now because he's a male so we'll have to remove him and bongo female flamingo there we go and another flamingo he can go off you go, my friend. And then this f male flamingo. Boom. Okay. I think that's everyone. Off you go. And then somebody had offspring. And Kiwi. Yep. And Hawaii. Hawaii died. Okay. We need a Hawaii the second. 100%. Wow. Lots of our female Nyalas are, are dying. In Nyala Forest, apart from we have two pregnancies, which is really good. Hawaii the second. I'm going to name one of these. We lost a fennel, so I'll fennel the second. And Hawaii the second. Oh, we lost time. Okay. Oh, we have a fennel. Whoops. Okay, hang on. Time the second. And Hawaii the second. We need. This is Hawaii the second okay Ta -da! amazing cool that keeps them all up to date and the yes the chinese pangolins 
we might have to pop over and check them. Here they are. Do they have enough now? They have one male and one female. So we could give him another female. Let's see. Who would he be okay with breeding with? Donut. Donut's going in. Such a cool name. Donut, you can totally go in. Um, let's see. Penguins. Donut, donut, donut. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Donut, in you go. I'm going to get rid of um, the penguins which are not golden. We don't have any stat at all because we have so many and it's bonkers. Oh, come on now. Penguin. Okay, you and then you and you and you. Huckleberry the second. Uh, we'll just rename another one Huckleberry the second. There we go. Released a while. It's a lot of penguins released. And I'll just name another Chinese penguin. Um, let's pick you. Huckleberry the second. Cool. Actually, this is a good chance to name some of our Let's see, I'm going to call one blueberry, and then a banana. I know we've probably had a, uh, a mango, but mango. And zucchini, and, um, huh, aloe, like aloe vera. I like that. And then we have two females, which are actually... I'm gonna get rid of the males. Okay, aloe and banana. Okay. Hang on now. Aloe and banana, we need to rename. Aloe. And banana. There we go. Okay, so that's a few of our. Oh no, fennel just died! <laughs> fennel, no! And oh my gosh, we have a. The red ruffed lemurs maturing all of a sudden. All the little baby ones which I said were really cute, they've all matured. And an okapi, and a female okapi has matured and upset the okapis. Okay. Let's see. Red. Oops. Red ruffed lemur. This lady and this can. They can. Oops, cancel, cancel. Hang on. Oh no. I ruined it. Okay. <laughs> Accidentally nearly sold them instead of uh, send them off for conservation credits into the wild. There we go. Off you go. All right. Wow, we've done so much today. We have a facility which is broken down. I just created a new work zone. <laughs> um, a mechanic repressed it. And then we have a research done on the giant otter, which is really, really important. Wow, we have a lot of research going on. So, woof, it's been a busy, busy day and it's getting dark now at our amazing zoo. Oh my goodness. And a disease is discovered. Wait, what time is it? It's October. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's October. It's October. It's October. Wait a second. Oh no. It's just the time for the computer to, to have a giant laggy minute. Hang on, computer. Hold it. Hang on. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. We're going to zoom in. Habitat 39. <gasps> baby gorilla! <laughs> we missed the birth of the baby. Oh, I bet you all screaming at me. I bet you all going, oh, Oliver, it's literally, it's like it came up and oh no, I can't believe we missed the birth. But at least we get to glimpse the cuteness of the little baby gorilla. Look at him go, a little boy. And we'll have to name him. Oh my goodness. What should we name you, little guy? Oh, okay. If I, I'll wait to name him for a few days, um, a few episodes, and you guys give me some name, uh, some names. I really, really would love to to add your names in. So we'll leave him as Uber for now. Very, very cute. I'm very proud. Where is she? Where's Simba? Simba, well done, my darling. I bet you're very proud of your little baby. She's running off top speed. I'm glad she's alright. And she's 18.2 years old, so she's got many more babies to have. Amazing. Okay, water treatment. 
I want some more photos of the baby. Where is it? Do we see the baby? Oh, it went through its dad's legs. Oh, wow, it's a fast one. It's a really fast one. It's running everywhere. Oh, is it going to play with the sprinkler? Oh, look at how cute it is. Oh, my goodness, it's, it's in the fern. <gasps> oh, I thought we were going to interact then. It's inside the fern. <laughs> she's, she's, she's hiding in the fern. Maybe we should just call him fern. He's, he's, he's completely submerged. He's so tiny. <gasps> Oh, look how cute he is. Little baby. Very cool. He's following his mama out the hill. Is this a floating bush? I think this bush is floating. I love the lilies on the, on the pond they have here as well. Yes, it is definitely a floating bush because he can go right underneath it. Aren't you a clever one? sniffing underneath stuff oh we have lots of visitors i haven't said hello to any visitors oh my goodness me uh lewis g rees r4x and then a giant long number and anthony greenfield and uh camilla lamsdenson oh my goodness i just slayed that poor name i'm so sorry if it's you um let's see it's a Prices. Okay. Cool. That is everything. And more research is done. Wow. These are really pretty. <gasps> oh, load and gorilla research. We can get them some more things. That would be amazing. Okay, hang on. Let me just put some more of these down because these look so pretty. Oh my goodness. They've, I've literally just noticed them. They are so gorgeous. Yes. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I want loads of these. Why are they so pretty? Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. Okay, there we go. I've spread flowers everywhere because they are incredible looking and so, so colorful. And wowza, look how many people are here. Oh my goodness. Wow, yes, the uh, queues are very high to get in. Oh, that's a good point. We should probably put, uh, let's put it up to 45 and 42 to get in. Put our prices up a tiny bit. The zoo reputation is super, super high. And the Western Lowland Gorilla is now our highest, highest animal. That is really cool. Here they have the most appeal. That is sick. I'm so happy that we have an animal so far, like, at the back of our zoo. Because it'll make people come over and come and see the amazing otters and the elef and the elephants. The hippos. Who are underwater. Look at them. Look how cool they are. Floating around. I love the little grunts that they make as well. Elderly. Esme is now elderly. Oh, how sad. Here we go. Let's see... Darwin, okay, they're both infertile as well, so they're just living out their happy life. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!